Hi guys, I have a 2012 uh, Tahoe, a Chevy Tahoe with a 5.8 engine and uh, uh, this uh, tune-up has been done on this truck uh, two days ago and the uh, driver experienced some uh, misfires, lack of power and uh, we can see we have a uh, cylinder number 5 misfiring right now. Not permanent, it's, it's a very 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 small misfire no other cylinders are we got uh, one three five and seven but you can see a number five check engine light is not on uh, we got um, all other cylinders on the on the bank um, on the bank two they're fine so uh, what I'm going to do now uh, I'm going to get you down to uh, engine and we can see that uh, they have a uh, new spark plugs spark plugs and wires and uh, what I'm doing now I'm using a MT2400 and I really, really like this tool uh, when it comes to uh, uh, Chevy uh, engines. And uh, what I'm using it now, I'm using it with my, uh, with my clamp on the uh, ignition, ignition clamp, I have it on the, on the wire. And what I'm actually looking is a, a Spark KV, okay? So uh, I'm not good with um, uh, you know to looking at the, the, the whole um, uh, pattern you know when you're looking at the um, uh, the uh, 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 secondary ignition but this tool actually separate a uh, spark KV for us and it puts it on histograph and uh, just a little moment that spark plugs when it's on a spark jumps up and down and we actually see the loss in voltage <coughs> uh, instead of uh, being used to uh, burn the fuel, this this energy is gone. And uh, when we see this, when we see the spark KV going up, uh, it's always outside of the combustion chamber. So it can be, uh, you know, spark plug uh, wires or coil, or maybe maybe the uh, spark plug itself, where the uh, um, has a crack in it, and um, the, the 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 energy is lost before before it gets into the into the cylinder. So right now, I'm not worried about you know injector uh, injection injector problems or any uh, any mechanical issues. So we can clearly see that uh, we are losing a lot of energy uh, on this cylinder number five. So I'm going to move the uh, clamp to number three. And um, this is what we got to number three. A lot smoother pattern, so a lot of it is, and then no loss of energy, so uh, the only energy is used to burn the fuel in a cylinder. It's a little bit of a spike here, but the, um, uh, I, can, I can feel now the uh, misfire uh, on, the, on the number five, and uh, we could see that on the, on the, on the scan too. But, uh, so we'll go back to five again. And we can, we can clearly see that uh, the Spark KV on number 5 is just going crazy. <clears throat> and uh, look at that. <clears throat> so now I'm going to swap the... Uh, <clears throat> sorry guys. I'm going to swap my uh, spark plug wires from uh, number 5. You can see my hand is shaking now. It's actually picking up the misfire a little bit more. I'm shaking it in. You guys can see that or not, but uh, look at my hand. Yeah. So, go back to my, skin, on my scanner, and uh, we can see that. Uh, okay, so anyway, I'm going to uh, swap the uh, spark plug wires and see if uh, our misfire is going to number three. I'm going to swap between three and five. If uh, our misfire goes to number three, we have a bad wire. If it stays in number five, then we have to see that we have to check the spark plug uh, itself. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's move the wires. And see if our, if our misfire goes to uh, number three or stays on number five. And that is said, I mean, this, the tune has been done like yesterday, I believe, and then uh, it, it started to misfire.
looking at the uh, spark plug wire. I don't see anything. It's very good. Okay. Uh, I don't see any traces of actually. Looks good. I don't, I don't see anything. And I said, uh, check engine light is not on uh, because the miss is not. It's a very slight misfire, so it, it probably by day or two it would be with the trip to check engine light. So I'm just gonna move my wires now and see what happens. bed uh, on the bed uh, wire we'll see if it's better now but go ahead and start it up and see what happens so now we'll see if uh, our misfire is gonna stay okay so we still have misfire on number five okay so now, let's see. So the, the misfire did not move. We still have misfire number five here. And uh, this is my histograph now on number three cylinder. This is the wire that I, uh, um, yeah. this is the wire that I moved from, uh, sorry. So this, this wire was on, on uh, 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 this wire was on member five and I put it back on, uh, on number three now and seem like it's uh, it's better so let's go let's go to number five they're still misfiring you may have to remove the spark plug okay there you go Kind of weird that uh, the Spark KV on number five is actually better now. There you go, it's jumping again. Let's move the light a little bit away from there. That's better because it gets too much. Uh, okay, now we can see it's, it's there. We go, it's happening again. So I'll have to uh, we'll have to remove the spark plug and see what what it is. Maybe maybe. Uh, I scan tool is still reading the uh, number five misfire. Now we can see that it goes, it's coming back again. So uh, let's uh, let's take this pop plug out and see what the deal is. Hello, guy. There we go, guys. Uh, uh, how about that? Uh, it is a uh, broken parcel and most likely what happened they uh, they dropped the spark plug when they put it. You can actually see it's, it's a new spark plug but uh, most likely they dropped it and uh, and broke the porcelain so now we could uh, we could see the cracks here and here so we're gonna get the new spark plug and fix this thing. Alright. Okay guys well we got a new spark plug and uh, let's see if it's gonna Fix the problem. Here's the uh, here's the new one, and is the old one. And uh, as we can see again, there's uh, there was this trace 
of the, uh, the porcelain was broken. And again, with that tool that I'm using, the MT2400, uh, you know, when you see that um, um, spark KV go, going up, it's always outside of the combustion chamber. So, and so from the like we could see now, this is where the leak of voltage was. So, uh, let's put this guy in there and see what we're going to fix it or not. All right, I got a spark plug in it, and I'm going to put the wire. Mr. Ross, go ahead and start it up. By the way, this is my next door neighbor, so I'll help him out. <laughs> It's like you're in business. Well, Misfire is gone. Nice. All right. Well. Okay, this is history. Okay, so yeah. One, three. It's short a little bit on number two, or uh, number three. But uh, this is just history. Okay. So right now. Right now we can see uh, one. It's number five. I was misfiring. That's misfire is gone. Uh, two, four, six, eight. That's good. One, three, five, and seven. That's good. So, uh, all right. Let's put the the. Uh, let's look at the uh, uh, pattern again with our uh, snap-on vintage. So we'll see uh, what it's going to look like now. All right, guys. Well, I've got my uh, got my plant now on the again on number three, on number five. I'm sorry, so on number five, and this is our um, um, Spark KV, and it looks great. This is what you want to see. So all the voltage is used to uh, burn the fuel. I love it. So if you have this tool, use it. It's gonna save you a lot of time, a lot of headache. All right. Okay guys, well this one is fixed. Uh, this is my next door neighbor, Mr. Ross. Uh, they just did a, uh, a full tune-up on his uh, truck, uh, plugs, wires, uh, um, I think uh, they replaced oil and, uh, and the air filter and basically the full tune-up. And um, a couple hours later he exp started experiencing some misfire, lack of power, and um, he just showed up tonight I was in my garage messing with the lab scope and uh, he came in and uh, asked me if I can take a look at it and I sure did. So uh, we could see on our scan tool we could see the constant misfire on number 5 but the misfire was not that bad for the computer to, to flag the code. It probably would happen a day or two. And uh, what I believe that is maybe they dropped a spark plug or maybe the spark plug was faulty and uh, the gap was not as bad when they installed the spark plug and after the, the steel will start driving it, the vibration and heat and uh, the gap got bigger and then uh, the voltage started to leak out of it. But um, uh, what I want to, when, uh, what I want to emphasize here is what I, when I was at the beginning of the video, I was talking about the spark KV. And uh, when I looked the pattern on the, on the secondary, Ignition to me, I'm still learning. I mean, there's a, there are guys that can really read this like crazy, but I, I'm still new at this. But what I do know is if that my I made a little note to myself a long time ago when I was reading all this. Um, when the cave, when the cave, uh, uh, spark KV goes up, and uh, uh, South Main Auto Eric had actually a video not long, a couple of days ago. He had, a, I think it was a Hyundai Sonata, I believe, that had a bag, uh, spark, plug, uh, spark plug wire, the boot was uh, uh, leaking, of, actually had an had a, a opening in a, in a boot, so the, the spark was, you know, jumping out of the, um, on the side and get grounded to the block, but what he used a picoscope and we could actually see the whole pattern and on his video, you can actually see this. The spark was actually going. There was a downslope, and the reason why it's downslope is because the K spark KV was high, 
and uh, <clears throat> that's what he was uh, that he uh, could see that and uh, he knew at the time that he had a out the problem with the outside of the combustion chamber which means you can have a you know crack in your in your in your spark plug bad bad wires or a coil now for me uh, using a uh, this little guy uh, it is you know, and especially on, on these uh, uh, Chevy engines uh, where we have a coil near plug system and this little guy really picks it up and what this will do when I, when I first thing when I, when I do my, my, my spark KV and uh, basically when every time when that, that spark jumps up and you see that on the secondary ignition this guy is going to put that on my histograph. So we could see on my, on, at the beginning of the video where that spark KV was jumping up and down and that's what we could see on the, on the, on the screen. But basically what is happening is that uh, the, uh, our spark, if I would have like labs, like, like a picoscope what Eric had, we could see this slope was going this up and down, and that's what basically my my uh, um, MT2400 was 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 telling me. And every time this this uh, K, uh, Spark KV goes up, then I could see that it was jumping like on, on, on my on my screen, and basically this spark goes jumps up and down. And and what what happens? Of course, we have leakage of voltage outside of the combustion chamber, and um, we are experiencing loss of voltage. The voltage is supposed to be used for spark to burn the fuel inside a cylinder is actually lost outside of the combustion chamber. But this is a great direction. When I when I see when I see that on my on my screen, when I see my my um, spark KV going up, I know that I don't have to check my injectors. I don't have to go, you know. Uh, my 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 problem my, my compression is okay that I don't have a mechanical problem on the engine uh, especially in this case I mean this truck is very well maintained and he experienced problems after the the tune-up but my point is when I see the KV spark KV jumps like that I do know that is outside of combustion chamber I'm checking the, the my, my my first I would go with with my spark about my wires uh, and then I would go with my spark plug to check that uh, uh, porcelain on it, and sure enough, there was a problem here, uh, or the coil itself. But um, um, okay, I think that's um, this was a good case study. I, I hope you guys uh, gonna enjoy this one. I sure did. I mean, this was a, this was really fun. And um, okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, see you next time, guys. Thank you. Have a good night.